All right, everybody, Baltimore Ravens beat the, uh, the Los Angeles Chargers 30 to 23. Lamar Jackson, another Monday night, a Monday night football performance for the ages. Derrick Henry went crazy. We'll talk more about that on the other side. Yeah, have I been going this long? They have, actually have a, a tablet ordering system now where you don't even got to talk to nobody no more. Yeah. I go in there, I'm like, I put my order. I'm like, this is always here. Yeah. <laughs> this is your boy Retro Recap, Double R Podcast. Ravens Orioles. Welcome everybody to the Double R Podcast. This is your boy, Retro Recap. After a thrilling, entertaining game, the Baltimore Ravens defeat the Los Angeles Chargers 30 to 23, improving their record to eight and four. Los Angeles Chargers drop to seven and four, their second home loss of the season. Lamar Jackson once again dazzles on Monday Night Football with three total touchdowns, two throwing, and one rushing. Final stat for Lamar Jackson, 16 of 22, 177, two touchdowns, no interception, only sack one time, a quarterback rating of 126.5. The MVP of the game, in my personal opinion, because the Ravens actually utilized him, Derrick Henry, 24 carries, 140 yards. First game this year where he doesn't get, the, where he doesn't get in the end zone. Technically, he did get in the end zone, but it was called back for a penalty flag, which is a, which is one thing I'll talk about a little bit later in the show about these penalty flags. Justice Hill had the big Curry, the 51 yard touchdown run, four Curry, 55 yards, a touchdown. Receiving Zay Flowers, five catches, 62 yards, had two big catches in this game. Mark Andrews had a touchdown, five catches, 44 yards. That big third quarter touchdown that extended the lead. Rashad Bateman, once again, he's always open. He's always making the big play. He's always making the contested play. Two catches, 43 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, let's go over to the Chargers. Justin Herbert's final numbers. 20 at one, a third of six, 218. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Sacked four times. Quarterback rating of 75.9. J.K. Dobbins, I mean, what can I say about J.K. Dobbins? I mean, the man, when he, when he looks at purple, when he looks at white, he gets injured. He was injured and most of his tenure with the Ravens. He plays against the Ravens and he gets injured. I don't know what it is about J.K. Dobbins, but he sees that purple helmet. He sees that Raven, that Raven on the helmet and the man just gets injured. But when he was out there, he was actually somewhat productive. Six carries, 40 yards, and a 17 yard run. J.K. Dobbins, you know, J.K. Dobbins is one of my favorite players. I've root for J.K. Dobbins. I hope his injury isn't long-term. He did not play the second half. I think he left I think somewhat somewhere in the second quarter he uh he was out. I think right before halftime, I think he was out. Uh Gus Edwards, nine carries, eleven yards. He had a touchdown at the very end of the game. So he got into the end zone, but he had nine carries, eleven yards. Uh McConkley, Lad McConkley was the Chargers main weapon in this game on the receiving end. Six catches, eighty-three yards. Uh the big one though, Quentin Johnson with two big drops in this game, a, a, a very big drop on, on third down. And the, was that fourth quarter or was that the third quarter? He had no catches on five targets. This is a this is a game for Quinn Johnson that he wants to erase from his memory bank ASAP. Uh, all right, defense was an issue uh, in the last few weeks. Defense, I thought, played okay in this game. Um, they gave up that garbage touchdown to him. I didn't like the defense at the end of the uh, second quarter, right before halftime. The Chargers should have never got three points on that drive, but outside of that, I thought Malik Harrison looked pretty, I mean, it was some plays where Malik Harrison was like, oh my God, he he got sandwiched in the middle, but I think Malik Harrison had a couple a couple good plays, a tackle for a loss against Gus Edwards. He made another big play. I thought Nate Wiggins was, was solid tonight. They were attacking Nate Wiggins all night, uh, but Nate Wiggins was up to the challenge. I thought Tredavious White was good. I thought Marlon Humphrey had some solid plays. Uh, so the defense did what they had to do. I thought the defense played okay, considering what we've been getting the last few weeks outside of that Steelers game. Obviously, now there's no Marcus Williams playing, so our Darius Washington got the start, and he will remain the starter for the remainder of the year for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, let's look at the numbers here. There were no turnovers in this game, right? It was a clean game from the from a turnover perspective. Let's look at the final numbers here. Uh, 
total total yards for the Baltimore Ravens 389 yards of total offense. Uh, the Chargers 285 yards of offense. No turnovers. Both teams ironically had 19 first downs. Baltimore Ravens win the time of possession. I, I feel like a lot of that time of possession really was in the fourth quarter. I thought like the Chargers early on did a great job of ball control, especially that first drive. They they were just running the ball down a Ravens throat with J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards and Justin Herbert got some yards scrambling. I thought they did a great job, but outside of that, the Chargers really never pre presented a huge threat on offense. Ravens win the time possession. Um, the the key thing in this game, fourth downs. Ravens went for it on th three times. And they and they converted all three. One of the plays in the second quarter, uh, they went for it on their own, their own like 15, 16 yard line. Gutsy call on fourth and one. But Mark Andrews with the tight end sneak. Tush push with the tight end. Uh Ravens really gambled this game with it, but they converted all three fourth downs. Um ironically, both teams finished with 60 total plays ran. Both teams had nine drives. Ravens, uh, 6.5 yards per play. The Ravens are leading the league in yards per play. The Ravens are leading the league in, in red zone touchdown percentage. The Ravens are very good. The Chargers came into this game with a league best, giving up 14.5 points per game. The Ravens put up 30 on you. On top of the fact that they didn't even, they didn't even score any points in the first quarter. It's amazing to me how the Ravens end up scoring 30 points. I forgot what other game it was this year. I don't know if it was the Broncos game or was it, maybe it was the Bengals game where it's like offense is kind of like not doing a whole lot in the first half and they end up scoring 30, 40 points. It's crazy. They get off to these slow starts. They got off to a slow start against the Bengals. Uh, they got off a, a slow start against the, uh, was it the Broncos? I can't remember whatever game it was. They get off the slow starts and then, but they, but they end up scoring 30, 40 points. It's crazy. Um, let's see whatever number Ravens had 212 yards rushing. Derrick Henry, like I said, 24 carries, 140 yards. The same building where Saquon Barkley had 255 yards rushing against the Rams. Derrick Henry comes into SoFi Stadium and drops a buck 40 on the LA Chargers. And both teams meet next week, Eagles and Ravens. The top rushing leaders are going to meet in that game. Saquon coming off a 255 game. Derrick Henry coming off a 140 game. Should be a great matchup. Like I said, Derrick Henry didn't even get into the end zone for the first time this year. Derrick Henry still had a great game. Um, that's, The key thing was the fourth downs and, and, and the fact that the Ravens were committed to the run. Even when they were down 10 to nothing in, in the second quarter, I was like, you still don't want to abandon the run. Cause we've seen too many times this year where if the Ravens get down, they abandon the run completely. I, I, I appreciate the fact that the Ravens were still running Derrick Henry and Justice Hill, even when they were down 10, nothing. Cause it could have, it could have got really bad. It could have got really bad, but they were running the ball with Derrick Henry. And then Lamar Jackson threw that bomb. Uh, what, 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 what came first? Was it the bomb? No, no, the Rashad Bateman play came the second touchdown the Lamar Jackson was the touchdown run the first the first touchdown so they they kept to their identity which is run the ball and I like that because we've seen too many times this year where they if they get down is Lamar Jackson have to put that Superman cape on which we know he's fully capable of putting the Superman cape on but it's great to know that you still remember that Derrick Henry is in the backfield I saw a lot of 21 22 personnel with the Ravens two running backs, two tight ends, two running backs, a tight end. And I think the Ravens run the ball the best out of that 22, 21 personnel. And you've seen that. And, and usually when they go into that 22 personnel, Derrick Henry usually gets pretty good chunk runs. Um, so yeah, so next week, the Baltimore Ravens will be playing the Philadelphia Eagles. That's going to be a really good game. The nine and two Eagles versus the eight and four Ravens. Uh, if the Ravens can somehow get that W, they go into the bye week on a good note. We want to hope that the Ravens get that win. They're at home. They're coming off a good win. You shut down Saquon Barkley. I think you have a good chance of winning that game. Easier said than done. He dropped 255 on the Rams. But at the same time, the Eagles got shut down Derrick Henry, who dropped the buck 40. So, and then this is Derrick Henry's, uh, let's see. 
Derrick Henry, this is how, what, how many games? Did, how many? This is like his fourth 100 yard game. Let me just double check that. Derrick Henry this year. I think this is. Uh, Derrick Henry has had one, two, one, two, three, four. Five, oh, no, I'm, I'm tripping. He has way more than that. One, two, three, four. He. This is his 600 yard game with the Ravens. And he had a game. We had 92. So yeah, Derrick Henry has been efficient. Saquon Barkley has been dominant. It's going to be a really great game to see two, the two, the two best running backs in the league and two of the most dynamic quarterbacks in the league with Jalen Hurts and Lamar Jackson. Now the San Diego, uh, San Diego, Los Angeles Chargers. Their next game is against the Atlanta Falcons. They go to Atlanta. That's going to be a big matchup because Atlanta is playing good ball right now. They're six and five and they're at home that's gonna be a good matchup so we'll see where both teams go from here but uh and i hope jk dobbins can it, that injury is not nothing serious because it, it it sucks to see jk dobbins always going down like i said i'm a big jk fan i don't i don't wish for anybody to get injured but i definitely don't wish for a person like jk to go down he he's he, he's just he just he's just a special player special talent that just can't stay on the field. So anyway, good win for the Ravens. They improved to eight and four with a 30 to 23 victory. Lamar Jackson, once again, on, on, on prime time, three total touchdowns. I mean, he's just adding on to his MVP resume right now. That gives him 26 passing touchdowns. And what is that? Four rushing touchdowns this year. Uh, let me just double check. I think Lamar Jackson had four rushing touchdowns this year. Or is that five? Let me just double check. I think that might be I think that's might be four rushing touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. Either way, Lamar Jackson is 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 impressive. Uh let's see. Lamar Jackson rushing touchdown. Let's see how many does he have. Let's let's take a look. Uh one, two, three. One, two, three. That's only that's only Lamar Jackson third rushing touchdown? Wow. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, good for Lamar. Good for the Ravens. Ravens improved to eight and four. Charters improved. I mean, not improved. They go to seven and four. So good win for the Ravens. And we're gonna get up out of here. I appreciate everybody for coming through. This is your boy Retro Recap on the Double R Podcast. We'll see you guys next week. We'll have Smooth Cave on next week. Ravens Eagles next week on the Double R Podcast. Should be a great time. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, have I been going this long? They have actually have a, a tablet ordering system now where you don't even got to talk to nobody no more. Yeah. I go in there, I'm like, I'm putting my order. I'm like, this is always here. Yeah. <laughs> this is your boy Retro Recap. Double R Podcast. Ravens Orioles.